That is the question. Hi, I'm Caroline Norton, and today I'm going to be doing a monologue from Girls, a scene from Glow, and the song Baby Dream Your Dream. Look, I respect your right to see and do whoever you want. And I don't even want a boyfriend. I just want someone who wants to hang out with me all the time, who thinks I'm the greatest person in the world, and who has sex with only me. And I feel really stupid saying all of this to you because it makes me sound like one of those girls who wants to like go get brunch. And I don't even want to get brunch. I don't even want to look at a picture of your dick because I live very near you. And if I wanted to see your dick, I could just come over and look at your dick. But I don't really see you hearing me. I don't really see you changing. So I just summed it up for you. And I'm sorry I didn't realize it sooner, because I really, really care about you, and I don't want to anymore, because it feels too shitty for me. Sam saw my boobs. He did. Eh, at least they're champagne tits. <laughs> What? what? No, today I found out that my boobs are too big and my ass is four times the size of every showgirl in Las Vegas. Debbie, no, that's no. no, 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 it is, Debbie, your ass isn't big. Eh? But it is big. It's big and juicy and sexy and it's an honor to have it in my face every night when we're wrestling. <laughs> honor. Uh, you're not a showgirl, Debbie. You're an actress and a businesswoman and a wrestler and a hot fucking piece and you fucking know it. And aren't you supposed to be at the big network meeting? Ah, uh, we had a big network phone call instead. They're moving us to a new time slot at 2 a.m. 2 a.m., but <laughs> we're a kid's show. Kids don't watch TV at 2 a.m. Nobody watches TV at 2 a.m., Ruth. That's the point. They're burying us, and we are going to get canceled. I think this might have something to do with me. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Ruth. Our show did not get shit canned because Sam and I wouldn't listen to your idea about you wrestling over the fate of your family's cherry orchard. It's because apparently the only people who actually watch our show are out in the parking lot right now, leaking pre-cum into their Sheila costume. I had a meeting with the head of the network. And? Well, it was in his hotel room. It was a dinner and then it was not a dinner, and he wanted to talk about my career, which we did, and then he wanted to wrestle, literally and figuratively. What did you do? What do you mean, I left. You left? Uh, he went to the bathroom and I made a run for it. I can't believe this. I know, it was terrible. How could you be so fucking stupid? <laughs> what are you talking about? You're in a hotel room with the head of the network, he comes on to you and you run away. Was I supposed to fuck him? No, but you're supposed to make him think that you might fuck him or that you desperately <laughs> want to fuck him if only you didn't have a fiance or your period or an extra set of teeth where your vagina should be. I'm not that kind of person. What, an actress? I mean, that is how this business works, Ruth. <laughs> Men try shit and you have to pretend to like it until you don't have to anymore. Shouldn't be that way. No, it shouldn't, but that's the way it is. And you don't make it any better by flouncing out like some fucking Victorian school marm every time a sleazeball puts his hand on your knee. You are taking 20 other people down with you. So you're just supposed to let them do whatever they want to you, huh? Not exactly a guiding feminist principle. <laughs> yeah, feminism has principles. Life has compromises. Congratulations, Gloria Steinem. The one time you keep your legs shut, we all get fucked. Look, I worked for 10 years to get a job that was more than just a, a crappy one-line role. It is never easy for me. You're the one who walks in and gets whatever job she wants, but not me. So despite what you think I should do, I'm not going to let myself be raped to save our show. The show that you don't even give a shit about. Don't be so fucking melodramatic. <laughs> I care just as much about the show as you do. No, you don't. You just needed a distraction and big surprise. You got what you wanted, but not me. I don't have what you have, family, kids. This show is the only thing I have and can hold on to. So I'm going to do this the right way for once. Baby, dream your dream. Close your eyes and try it. Dream of furniture. Dream that. 
that I can buy it. Well, who knows what will sour the cream when you dream your dream. But come to think of it, how happy I would be if someday I could find the kind of guy who'd say to me, baby, dream your dream. Close your eyes and try it. Dream of three fat kids. Brother, would I buy it? Life could be frozen peaches and cream if only i could if only i could dream